TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, don't forget, if you want to watch any of the previous recordings from the live or any future ones, twitch.com, usernames at the bottom of the screen. Don't forget, we do got Patreon and we got merch. It's all located in the description under the video. This is Beard Meets Food. Doing a little breakfast sandwich. Okay, 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 okay. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. I ain't gonna lie, Mr. Uh, I said Mr. I almost said Mr. Beast. Beard meets food. He has, he has inspired me to go try to do one of these food challenges. Because I just be feeling like I can. And we're gonna find out. We're gonna put it to the theory, man. Man bets 50 pounds I can't finish the unbeaten breakfast sandwich. It's just a breakfast sandwich, man. Camera for a spin today, so if you notice anything different, good or bad, let me know down in the comments here. That one last week was a bit hairy, wasn't it? Only just about made it in the nick of time. What so happened? this week, I'm going to take my preparation incredibly seriously. It's been a minute since I watched the food thing. What? Oh, I'm all, listen, I'm hungry already right now, Watt Bob, so. Yeah, that was a bit of a gag, but uh, you know what they say? You should never eat on an empty stomach. Did they say that? Sound right. We made it. The Blue Cow Inn. And this is what we're doing today. Yeah, it's a, a good old fashioned fry up challenge. It's been a while. I mean, I've done about 200 of these, but it has been a while. And uh, despite quite a lot of people saying they could do it, nobody has managed to do it yet. So I'm here to come to the rescue, hopefully. Oh. Is this enough? I don't know if I like this. Is in the back of a bar? What's happening? <laughs> It's a little heavy. Wait, this is a toilet. I'm not gonna even lie, the entrance to this looks sketchy. Spooky. Did I just come in the right way? Is that like the back entrance or something? <laughs> Hi. Hi. How's it going? You are who I think you are, aren't you? Uh, maybe. YouTuber? Yes. Yeah. I, uh, I'm, I can't do your, your breakfast challenge. Yeah, Is that yeah. okay? Like anywhere? Hello, You're right, mate. So wait, did he or did he not come through the back door? Because that was beyond me, that entrance. If that's how I got to get in there, I don't know if I want to be there. But this is, you know, as an American looking from the outside in, this is what I expect once we're in the dining area. At first I thought I stumbled into like a Freemasons meeting or something. Because he just kind of <laughs> looked at me like, you shouldn't be here. The landlord tried it. And he, he couldn't finish it. Very close. <laughs> <laughs> what are you making a video about, mate? Um, they have this thing here where if you eat like a really big breakfast, you yeah. get it for free and you win a t-shirt. What, are you going to have the breakfast? I'm, I'm going to try, yeah. 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 Bloody hell's bells. <laughs> it's massive. You it with them. I've heard rumours that it is massive, yeah. It doesn't look that big in the picture, though. Pause. Wow, that's a crazy statement I just said. My fault. You look a little bit skeptical. Is it my small frame? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm a little bit slight. It has to be said. What do you reckon? You think I could do it? You don't think I could do it? You, well, at least you could say it. You could, you could at least pretend that you think I could do it. Bro didn't even hesitate. He said no. No. <laughs> I've, I've got a 50 pound veg on it. Fifty dollars, I'm not gonna eat this burger. Fifty dollars. <laughs> Five zero. 
Just been for a look in the kitchen and the um, the sausages look rather large. You know when you think of breakfast sausage? The sausage. That is lengthy. Pause. That's almost the size of the basket. Pause. Sausages look rather large. You know when you think of breakfast sausages? No, no, no. They're, they're much bigger. You could probably kill somebody with one of these sausages. They're huge. I do choose. Yeah. Something my fiance could only dream of. <laughs> I really don't want you to follow. Dang. But it's a possibility. It's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. It looks yummy though. Will not do it. I won't. How many sausages are on there? Don't do it. I said ten. You certain? Sure. One. It's substantial. Two, There's a lot three of sausages couldn't have. Peas and not peas. Beans. Beans and tomatoes and chips. Do you reckon he's he's actually gone to the toilet or do you think he's just kind of skipped out the back? All right. <laughs> I thought I'd, somebody is. A, I'm not gonna lie. From the from like how I'm feeling right now, I could probably do this. Escaped on a fifty quid bet with me before, actually. <laughs> I think it was in Miami somewhere. Right, I'm at a place called the Blue Cow Inn, which is in South Witham, which is called the Brecky Challenge. Yeah. And you get how long do you get to finish? Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Twenty-eight quid. Yeah. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. This challenge would be a hundred dollars in America, one hundred percent. It's free. Did you get a T-shirt? Or did I just yeah. Oh, I thought I thought I dreamt that for a second. You do get a T-shirt. <laughs> Sweet. I don't think you can do it in the time. To the tune of fifty pounds. Am I on camera? Uh, you're on that one, yeah. <laughs> I've got fifty pounds on that. <laughs> fifty quid. Who's gonna you lose your little money? Oh, he finally did the do it. Let's get it. One. Go. All right, let's go with the eggs. Yeah, seems like an appropriate place to start. And this fella has a crisp 50 nicker on me, not finishing. Wonder if he's gonna try and escape halfway through like Tony the Chef did back in Florida a few years back. So there's only four eggs? We're trying to make it on, please, and loud music. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen anyone eat eggs like that before? All of them. Wait, did anyone eat eggs like that before? No. That's a, that's... Oh, these are whole sausages? So there's one, two, three, four, five of them? <laughs> All of them. Wait till you see me eat sausages. <laughs> Might want to look away. Sound of... Oh my God, this is rated M for mature. Advice. Something tells me he's going to be watching like a hawk the whole time though. Not unlike the staff. And, uh, Bro just devoured that. If you're wondering, this thing is essentially a large toasted ciabatta roll topped with loads of typical English breakfast ingredients and uh, some chips on the oh, side. Oh, there's four. I can't reason. count. What's that? I want the music on, loud music and television on. Just disrupt you doing that. <laughs> you regret it already. I've only been going about a minute. <laughs> These are kind of like fish and chip shop sausages, yeah. which I actually prefer to, you know, regular breakfast sausages. That's unique. I like it. Oh, it is cut in half. Okay, so one of them was cut. In, okay, so there was three. So there was two whole ones, pause, and then there was one cut in half one. There's a lot of carbs here. Ah. Veteran move with the bread sauce. Here. I'm gonna try and uh, moisten up the sandwich. And then maybe. I'm gonna try at least to eat like a sandwich. It's not gonna work. Well, the Shabbat is gonna make it a little bit harder than it otherwise would be. Yeah, because it's gonna be hard on the roof of your mouth. Quite crusty. Yeah, you could, you could hear that. That's the fly in the ointment with this one. The roll is quite a bit harder to get through than regular toast. He did it. That big sandwich. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? <laughs> she is disgusted. Well, you promised me one thing. Stay in school so you don't end up doing something like this for a job. Yeah, you could be like a lawyer, a doctor, something useful. Not an internet clown. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, not a girl that eats lots and lots of food. <laughs> no. Hey, look at that. Beard meets food, perennial overeater, and part-time careers counsellor. Hey, he did it with the bread and everything. Like, made it a sandwich and everything. That's tough. The roof of my mouth will be in shambles. The roof of my mouth will be crying. To toddlers. Solid advice, though. I'm sure you'll agree. Yeah, you might as well up the money. That doesn't look like 50 quid there in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't completed the mission yet, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no He's right. Slowing down. Despite being three pints deep at midday on a Thursday, there's nothing wrong with this bloke's powers of perception. There's plenty left, but the food tastes good, which is not always the case when it comes to fry ups, so I'm feeling positive. In case you missed it. Really? This is the home of a fry up and they mess it up sometimes? Who messed up a fry up? Who, when did you not taste a good fry up? At the start, by the way, you get 30 minutes to finish, and if you do, not only is the 28 quid meal free, I don't believe you. But you get a slick winner's shirt, too. Not to mention, in this case, if I play my cards right, who knows? I might get my hands on 50 quid from that fella's pension annuity. I always try to tell you, people in shape can eat more than people out of shape. No, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Plenty of stuff to go, though. Still big pile of chips and some of the sloppy stuff. Just look at him and Joe Hansen, Joel. Both eat a lot. Duff. Crazy. The ciabatta roll is what makes this hard. It's really, really chewy. That's a half pint. <laughs> How long have I been going, boss? Uh, eight minutes twenty. Eight minutes twenty. <laughs> you done with most of it. For you, John. <laughs> but the chips can be a killer. Yeah, there's a lot of chips to go. We'll see. Bro, so relaxed. He eating the chips with a fork. John, your money's gone. When he eating, when he eating the chips with a fork, when he normally grabbing like a handful and do like this, yeah, it's over. He's just trying to stretch the video now. Where you going, John? Quite a lot of beans as well. <laughs> Not really, but it sounds catchy, you know. I knew what it was gonna be. Yeah, I've got to say, I didn't think the alias would uh, would stick quite so well, but here we are. Just the chips and beans to finish off now. That's some pile though. Fortunately, the beans should help send them down largely unobstructed. They gonna, the beans gonna help them get out too. I know your toilet is crazy. I know you had to get that thing reinforced. I know you got a, 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 a double platinum porcelain toilet. I mean, it's all type of stuff. Chips are going down pretty easy. I thought they'd be the toughest part though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it is a couple of them. Uh, yeah. The mushrooms kind of went when I ate the sandwich. So I thought, you know, I don't really like mushrooms. In fact, I hate them, so. <laughs> but if I eat them with everything else, it won't be that bad. It's a good tactic, it worked. I like mushrooms. Your tummy is looking a lot bad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fat shape, Rob. <laughs> well, yeah, all this grub's got to go somewhere. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> well, that really is a talent. Like, and I do really think I possess that talent. I can do that. 100%. <laughs> no cap. 100%. Next time I see him do a a, a, a one of these challenges, I'm going to do one. <laughs> what time am I at? You know what time I'm on? Uh, 13.15. All right. This is Beer Beats Food, and that was... An easy way to earn 50 quid. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> that, that, that was the, uh, the Blue Cowton's Brekkie Challenge. Yeah. You're 4.4 seconds on my time. Yeah. Yeah.
Oh, so you know me pretty well then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, very, very impressed with you. I want to shake your hand before I go out that door. You don't want to, there better be a, there better be a 50 pound note in it. No, I'm joking. I don't think you want, I don't, I don't think you want to shake that hand. We'll, I'll, I'll wash them off. Only one question remains. Do you have a dessert menu? Yeah. <laughs> he's not laughing, he's serious. Get that man a pie or something. It's a pleasure to meet you, man. And, you. and uh, thanks for the discouragement. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 from the start, it was discouragement. Yeah, yeah. But Where's you... the money, John? Came around pretty quick, right? <laughs> John, where is the money? Discouragement. Yeah, yeah, but you came around pretty quick, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in about wow. 50 seconds. <laughs> Have a good day, man. And you. See you it's later, quite a, It's quite a wedge of fudge cake as well. Sure got a little thing. Well. Oh, Look good. Oh, yummy. It's, good. it's good fudge rich. cake, yeah. Oh, the t-shirt's coming now. Yep. What does it say on it? Break your challenge, I came, I ate, I conquered. I like it, I like the cow on the front. Cheers, thanks, I appreciate it. That's the first one they even had to give away. No it? problem. It was really nice to meet you all. Yes. Fantastic. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, no worries, no worries. Well, congratulations, man. And you know what? I'm gonna try one. The next time you try one, which should be soon. Leave a like if you got any faith in me. Leave a comment if you don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs>